Well, let's turn our attention now to the Infosys Prize of uh, 2010, and we are now being joined by Mr. Narayan Murthy, who's joining us to talk about it, and also Nandini Sundar with us right here, one of the award winners. Uh, thank you, Nandini, for being with us. Uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy, uh, you first. Perhaps if you could just give us a quick description of what these uh, awards are about, and what specifically do you look for when you're finding, uh, find, finding people to award them to? Well, uh, first of all, let me say, Vikram, it is an absolute pleasure to be talking to you. Uh, Infosys Science Foundation was founded about a year and a half ago. The objective of Infosys Science Foundation is to recognize men and women of science and engineering in five different areas. Uh, physical sciences, which includes physics and chemistry, mathematical sciences, which includes mathematics, statistics, and theoretical computer science, uh, engineering sciences, which includes all branches of engineering, uh, life sciences, medicine, and agriculture is the fourth category, and the final category is social sciences. Right. Uh, so, just wanted to ask you about the quality of work that you've been seeing, and is there a lot of talent that you're finding out there? It's, you know, indication of, of what all the level of quality that there is? Yeah, well, uh, the primary, the first criterion we have had is that the work that these people have done must be world class. We said anybody that we, that we select must be somebody who will get a tenure appointment in one of the finest US universities. Okay, so it has to be world class. Nandini, that presumably makes you happy, world class. Now tell us about your work. You've of course done a lot of work uh, in, in, in tribal welfare and Adivasi issues, but this is presumably a body of work. Uh, so would you describe some of the rest of it for us? Um, well, I'm interested in issues of identity and inequality. One of the things that I've been uh, writing about um, has been, for instance, the caste census and um, what the implications of that would be. And I'd like to do further research on um, questions of mapping uh, particular population groups. So that's one aspect. I'm interested in intellectual history. Um, I did some work on Iravati Karve's uh, life, and I really enjoy doing that. Uh, but I'm really honored to be given this prize, and I think it's great that social science is being recognized. Okay, yeah. Tell me honestly, uh, does, it, does it infuriate you that every time you're talking about your work right now, or tribal issues, Adivasi issues, somebody immediately asks you a question on Maoism? Well, I think that's part of what uh, I've been doing, but it's not, uh, I am fundamentally an academic, and uh, even my work on um, the war in Chhattisgarh has come out of my academic engagement with the area. I've been working, doing research on Bastar for 20 years now, so it's not something disconnected from that. <laughs> All right, Nandini. Uh, Mr. Moti, uh, let me just come back to you for a second and ask you, um, now that we have you with us, about Infosys itself, which I know you're not involved in the day-to-day -day functioning of, but I'm sure you keep a very close eye. How do you think it's doing, and especially in these days of potential currency war and appreciating rupees? Um, are you satisfied with the way life is panning out for the company? Well, you know, as, as you know, we have done pretty well this quarter, um, both the top line and the bottom line. There is a lot of enthusiasm around me. Uh, Chris has done an exemplary job. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with what has uh, happened. Right, and of course it seems that many of the, a lot of the talent whom you found, Mr. Murthy, it, it seemed to be almost running the country now in many ways. We see Nandan all over the place with the UID campaign, which uh, presumably you would agree is a major step forward and a very important initiative. Well, I'm so happy that Nandan has done a wonderful job. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased, I think. Uh, he has demonstrated how a good professional, when inducted into the government, can indeed va add value. I hope uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh will induct uh, more uh, high-quality professionals into his government because we need such things.